Chapter 34 Come near, you nations, to hear and heed, you people. Let the earth hear and all that is in it, the world and all things that come forth from it. For the indignation of the Lord is against all nations, and his fury against all their armies. He has utterly destroyed them, he has given them over to the slaughter. Also their slain shall be thrown out, their stench shall rise from their corpses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. All the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heaven shall be rolled up like a scroll. All their host shall fall down, as the leaf falls from the vine, and as the fruit falling from a fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Indeed, it shall come down on Edom and on the people of my curse, for judgment. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood, it is made overflowing with fatness, with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord has a sacrifice in Bozrah, and a great slaughter in the land of Edom. The wild oxen shall come down with them, and the young bulls with the mighty bulls. Their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust saturated with fatness. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, the year of recompense for the cause of Zion. Its stream shall be turned into pitch, and its dust into brimstone. Its land shall become burning pitch. It shall not be quenched night or day. Its smoke shall ascend for ever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste. No one shall pass through it for ever and ever. But the pelican and the porcupine shall possess it. Also the owl and the raven shall dwell in it. And he shall stretch out over it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. They shall call its nobles to the kingdom, but none shall be there, and all its princes shall be nothing. And thorns shall come up in its palaces, nettles and brambles in its fortresses. It shall be a habitation of jackals, a courtyard for ostriches. The wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the jackals, and the wild goat shall bleat to its companion. Also the night creature shall rest there, and find herself a place of rest. There the arrow-snake shall make her nest, and lay eggs, and hatch, and gather them under her shadow. There also shall the hawks be gathered, every one with her mate. Search from the book of the Lord, and read. Not one of these shall fail, not one shall lack her mate. For my mouth has commanded it, and his spirit has gathered them. He has cast the lot for them, and his hand has divided it among them with a measuring line. They shall possess it forever, from generation to generation they shall dwell in it.